It's even worse. So we'll resign this one. Okay, we'll resign this one as well. Unbelievably strong. So strong. It's unreal. Okay, we'll just resign this one as well. I tell you what, we'll we'll resign this one. We had a bad start in this one. Uh, the opponents just absolutely taking us to town. So I'm going to resign. Hmm. <laughs> and this centre pawn's going. So we may as well attack this pawn. And the other pawn. And I bet you he jumps straight back to this position. So he can get this pawn off. Oh, in fact, he could go here, couldn't he? Attack this pawn. But he's not going to do that. I think this one's going to be the one. Three pawns is quite a lot. Would have to have like a, a battering ram with the rook just peeling off loads of pawns. But that's not happening today. Oh, he's actually attacking this pawn. Let's take. We're on the rook. If they forget themselves. Oh, they forgot themselves. Oh, that is a shame. I'm just about to say if they forgot themselves. Oh, and he's resigned. Just develop the knight. Excuse me. Let's go with a small development this time. Let's just bring the bishop out. This castle. Interesting situation here. Right, okay, let's get the knight out. Let's push the pawn. bit of space for the white square bishop it's going to be on this horrible Fianchetto line and they don't care they're coming in for the kill has it got legs yes it does because the queen's going to come shooting in here let's hit the knight gone back so I've probably done that maybe on purpose to bait the pole trying to make space let's just hit this queen side and see what happens all right so when you see well when I see a lot of dancing night type maneuvers it looks it looks strange and it looks like oh they're not doing anything type thing but it is going to be preparing kingside attack. So it's ignored this pawn maneuver. We hit the bishop, bishop's coming here, it's working its way around the other side. If we take the pawn, that might be a bit better for us. So let's take. Our poor white square bishop needs to get in, but we're blocked in at the moment. So this pawn doesn't have any protection for this very brief moment. So we could hit again, just to try and make some space. I'm gonna hit again, give them something to think about because this king side attack is gonna be a bit ferocious. Let's take and attack the bishop before they start getting more to set into. Obviously the bishop's not gonna to want to be taken. So at least it frees our white square bishop to come out. 
and maybe protect the king area because it was jammed in oh okay like I said it's going to be a ferocious attack they've been waiting to get that out bishop can put a check on the king to let them know that we're in the game so I think we will, we will do that because we can still take the bishop off the board I just don't really want to get his queen involved I am trying to look to see if there's another avenue for the knight but there isn't so let's just take the bishop off the board knights hunt the bishops in our mantra so we may as well stick with that so it's still a bit murky could bring the bishop here no we're not going to do that now so I could bring it here, like we said, to help out the king. But what's going to happen is we're going to go here. He still wants to continue the king side attack. We can bring your bishop back all the way back here. And then it's locked in because then it's just going to lock it in. So that's a little bit scary, but it does open up his king on all the diagonals so if we push the pawn up onto the knight then the queen would be able to come in here and it's almost a checkmate but his knight's protecting the square his queen's protecting the knight's protecting so do we do that first attack the knight attack the knight then bring the bishop here but where's the knight going? That's the thing. Oh, do we do this first? No, because this pawn is going to hit our bishop. So we may as well push on to the knight now. It's good to play the story in your head, at least then you can play it backwards. It's not, not saying that it's guaranteed anything, but we do have a plan of sorts. We wanted to get the bishop here to help protect the king area. So we do have this moment if they do come down with the pawn. So let's do that. King's getting some company. We said at early doors the king side attack is gonna be ferocious. If we get that in here. Oh he's still attacking the bishop anyway. Although this bishop really isn't doing anything there. So I should be fairly happy just moving it don't want to block the queen because the queen wants to go here so we may as well just bring it here it's not going for it all right so he's blocked the way you know so the queen's not going to be coming and putting a check on the king now so if the queen came here looking to take the pawn takes queen takes with a check then the knight just blocks so that's not going to wash is it so it's not clear at all this is <sighs> nice position for the knight would be here wouldn't it so if we came here but then that's going to happen but then when that does happen the knight jumps here with a check on the king we get the rook So that's tantalizing, isn't it? I think they will do it. Although they're taking the time, so maybe they're not. And if they don't move it, we still put the knight up, but maybe he just move. So it's got a two on one, king save. Let's go for the rook. on the dark square is there anything else that we can do in the meantime before we take the rook off the board bishop no dark square no no 
these types of positions, I think, oh, is it a mating net? Can we can we get in there? But it doesn't look like there is really, is there? Just gonna have to take the hook off the board. Queen still protecting this pawn. He's still got the two on one. So we're probably gonna have to bring the bishop here, defending. Try and get the rooks involved, maybe something. That would be nice, I think. Okay, so we're gonna bring this. Try and go for. Oh, he's blocked it off. See, it's times like these, you know, where you, the start seeing stuff, when you're blocking stuff off there, you just think, ah, oh, I was so close, I was so close to getting it, and then it all disappears. So, we've got fancy night maneuvers. What potential have they got? Got rook, bishop. Bishop could just come and attack because he's got man, you still got two on there. Is he looking for a third? Yeah, so we can't move the bishop. He's protecting the pawn. Queen's protecting the pawn. Are we looking to just develop this rook? Maybe to sit here and put a bit of pressure on, although it's only two pieces. So he's come down, he's tacking, he's tacking the pawn. Night whirlwinds, you've got to ask the question. You've got to ask the question every time you see the fancy night maneuvers. It's got three on the pawn. Hey, okay, let's go with the queen going here. Want to just try and improve my position on the board. So opened up space, so we could now take this um, knight off the board with the rook. This is arty, but because we've got a check on the king, I'm hoping we're winning some sort of tempo. We don't have to do that, he could move his bishop somewhere and I might be falling foul or something. Damn! But he would have lost a minor piece for nothing if he does move the bishop. So that's me being arty. I just thought I'm fed up with this player. Let's just get the check on the king. Yeah, I'm, I'm fed up. It's like... <sighs> so we need to get this pawn off the board. But we're not going to be able to do that because he's going to come and defend it like anything now. Bishop could take the pawn up there. Queen could take the pawn for queen exchange. Where was this here? So he could look to exchange, but he doesn't have to exchange. He may just, if he drops there, we take him. Or he may just push the pawn. But if he pushes the pawn, we take the queen. Yeah, let's go with simple. He may just come here just to support the pawn. That's probably what they're going to do, actually. And... Boom, 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 boom. What is he thinking? This is protected here, so if we brought the rook up and attack the queen. King's got space. Where's he going? He's not going to go up there, is he? Because he pushed the pawn down. 
let's just focus so we attack the queen pushes the pawn down bishop's guarding that square what am i on about let's just hit the queen i'm not sure what he's planning because he can't come here if he drops there the queen takes him he's gonna have to go back isn't he does that give us a bit of this? Or is that too much? That might be too much because he's still going to... Oh no, he's found something. Has he? We go up just to attack the pawn. In fact, go here, so then we're attacking the pawn. But then if we do that, he then goes and puts a check on us. So we have to stay on here. He's definitely not squeezing in here, is he? He can't squeeze in there because he'll get taken. I'm going to squeeze here, attacking the pawn. Rook maybe comes to defend. So that's one out of the way of protecting the pawn, if that's what happens. I'm not doing any further calculation. I'm I'm not I'm annoyed. But I can't see it. What magic can they come out with? Does he come back and just defend? Then we bring the bishop in as well. He's going for it. Is his time gonna be right then? No, because the bishop's still protecting that square. Oh, no. God, I thought I missed something. Is his queen coming here? No, but we've got a check on his king. He doesn't have a check on our his, our king. He could do... Oh, no, but that's not much. That's not much. He could drop. We take. He's, oh, no. Did you see that? Oh, God, all that time. Oh my god. All that time. Oh my days. Bishop still guarding the square. I did not see it happening like that. Unbelievable. Damn. Let's just block here. Honestly, any beginners playing on, on this side, I mean, it's like, we're going to have to defend this though, because he's going to come around the side and take the bishop off. He's going to work his rook around here. Oh, it's not over, is it, dude? It's not over. We're going to have to do a slow down. What's the worst case? He comes there. We get to, we're in time to get to here. To at least stop that. So we need to just backtrack now. Keep his king on the back so he's not getting in the game. Slow and steady. Oh, that queen. I did not see that. Oh my gosh. I did not see that pattern whatsoever. I'm really shocked at that. As we said, don't say that would mean that we've got it sorted though, because that magical queen thing messed us up. So his pawns are coming down. So our king can't get in the game because he's blocked us. We can now come and attack these pawns. So I'm going to bring the king rook down. It's releasing his king a bit, but I can't do everything. Main one really is trying to get rid of this one. And his rook can't defend all of these two pawns. One that's going to cause the most disturbance, probably going to move this one down. Right. Take. No, take. We've got pawn majority on this side, we've got pawn majority on that side. Let's take this one. 
He's in. Oh, I do not believe this. I do not believe this. He's got... Oh, my gosh. We come here. If he comes down, we can't take the rook. Oh, don't believe it. Don't believe it. We're going to have to bring the rook across here. I don't believe it comes down to put a check on. But then he... Oh, my gosh. No, we can't do it. Oh, we can't do it. We're out of time. Oh, I don't believe this. We come here. He still comes down for the bishop. If we move the rook, he takes the bishop. We move across. He goes for any one of these pawns. He either goes this way. We take the pawn. So maybe he's not going to go that way. Maybe he goes that way, attacks that pawn. Because the king is blocking the way. Oh, dear, this is disgusting. Yeah, so the king's blocking this pawn, so he'll be able to come across and get this pawn. So the rook won't be defending. Ah, uh, uh, shabby times, shabby times. Let's just move this here. Oh, dear with me, that's disgusting. Disgustingly high level play, that. I mean, others may go, that's not high level play. That was pretty obvious. It wasn't obvious to me. It was not obvious to me at all. He's not going for it. Oh, do we win a tempo then? Because now if he goes that, just... Why, how did he miss that then? Oh no, cause, yeah, because I can't take his rook. Anyway, right, so we move here. We move here. So we must be a move ahead. So if he then comes down, then we can take. And he's not going to be able to take. So we're going to do this. I think they lost the tempo there. Oh, crazy times. You don't get to that position like that and not do the move. That's really weird. That is really weird. Yeah, sorry, I'm not wearing that. Yeah, you don't do that working, you know, you've moved the rook there for a particular reason, which is to do that move. It's not to then do a pawn move. Yeah, okay, so it's not a very chilled chess time, but it's got to check on. So I suppose we can come across. Oh, we can just hide the king now, we don't need it. Oh, are we falling? We're not falling. Let's get rid of the checks. If we come here, then he's got the opportunity of attacking these pawns. We don't want that. Come back. Can't come down to defend the pawn. realizes oh I could have done this we take the pawn he comes down thinking he's happy as Larry yeah that's not gonna work for him so we'll just bring the king back maybe they forgot the move order but obviously that stuff there was really strong to get to that point and to miss that and I'm definitely stunned yeah, so he's, th he's, he's rethinking, oh, I can come down and get it, but we're going to take, and that gets rid of that, and just bring the king back up. Yeah, so now they know what the move was, so it's a bit fishy. So move the king just to defend.
try not to be arty they're not giving up so i don't want to lose any more pieces through silly blunders or anything that's the i think i've mentioned in one of the videos is that the character building side of things the move that you make you think is really good they're disconnected what is wrong with just pressing resign if you dear me um the move that you make and you, and you feel like you're advantageous in the game and you're doing really well putting working your pieces together your system's working for you and then suddenly out of the blue they come out with something that's really odd weird and it's strong and you're like oh i can't believe this so the training aspect is around well okay they're going to do something you're not going to expect because you can do your calculations as best possible like i did my calculations in this game as best possible thinking i was getting a squish on the king and not really paying much weight to the queen maneuver that they'd actually put in there for everything was blocked off but it actually gave them a really good position you know it got pieces off the board so we're having to work a bit harder in the end game So having that, it's having that resolve to constantly deal with adversity. It's not going to go your way. So how best can you reposition to make it a better way for yourself type thing? And the game's been abandoned. 